Hey guys, yeah, I'm back again. Something I forgot to mention in the little vid <clears throat> the video that is now up. Um, last month, that I should say, last month my boyfriend took his um, massage therapy state boards on December 6th. Yeah, last month. Um, and like his classmates that you know that he grew the blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry I'm like going Ree! but okay um his classmates had gone to his school gone to back to their school I think it was last week no wait what's today Friday or wait today's Saturday I'm getting my shit confused yeah today's Saturday sorry but um some of my boyfriend's classmates that he graduated with um, went back to their school, right? So um, to see their teachers and you know talk about you know state board testing their t state boards. My boyfriend will know if he passed or not this next upcoming week. So hopefully he passes. He passed his state boards because I'm keeping my fingers crossed for him. Even though I can't, for some odd reason, I'm having a hell of a time to pass mine. Don't worry, I've already passed my, um, I've already passed my written. I just have to pass my practical, which I'm having a hell of a time doing because my school did not teach me how to do African American hair. Because you know how they straighten their hair and we make our hair curly? Well, let me put it this way. They didn't just not teach me how to do African-American hair. Let me put this politically correct here. They didn't teach me how to do ethnic hair. Like, you know, like, um, like African-American hair or Asian hair. Because their hair is different from our, from Caucasian women's hair. I don't know it's confusing but anyways enough about my shit enough about my problems like you re people really want to know my, what I'm dealing with but I'm staying positive I know I can pass mine because right now yeah I have the Milady's standard cosmetology book that my darling boyfriend got me I know I'm getting off I'm getting off course Okay, back to my boyfriend. He will know his um, test results next, this upcoming week, this next week, after Sunday, after this weekend. So, um, hopefully, he knows whether he passed or not. Passed or not. And he pretty much has a plan if he didn't pass passed it the first time he was going to um, sign up for the um, influx test whatever the fuck that is I didn't go to school for massage therapy so I have no I have no clue what the fuck he's talking about it's like okay whatever though granted the original state well from what he said there's um, I think they're he said they're like changing it from the regular state board test that he took last month to the Inflex the shit and his last test was like three no wait two hundred dollars and this the new Inflex testing that they're starting I think this year that they already started this year that's like three hundred dollars Oh my god, that's like more than mine. Because mine's like 35 fucking dollars. But with his, that's, that includes his, um, the, the original $200 included him getting his license when he passed. I know, confusing, right? So if you guys live in Ohio and you're going for massage therapy schooling, 
Yeah, you're going to have a bitch of a time. Yeah. Oh, I'm joking. I love you guys. And if you are going to, ma it, well, if you're going for massage therapy in any state, I wish you guys good luck. I swear. Oh my god. You guys have to go through so much crap and learn so much shit. Crap. You fuckers are lucky. I wouldn't be able to go through that shit. I'd be like, what? I'd probably do what I did when I went for cosmetology. If I had to go through anatomy and physiology, I'd be like, oh, this thingy's connected to this thingy, and this thingy's connected to that thingy, and the thingy with the other thingy thingy. Yeah, me and my friend did that because we didn't know how to pronounce half the words. It's like we, we sat there and looked at our teachers like, we can't pronounce half these words. So we're just going to roll with, roll with it, and we did. We had half the class cracked and fuck up. We had near, we had about like three or four students say they nearly pissed themselves from laughing so hard. I nearly about laughed. I died. Oh my, seriously? That was some funny ass shit. I thought that was funny. I'm like, really? It's funny and bad at the same time. So that's my experience through cosmetology school. I went to Miami Jacobs. Yeah, don't go there. They probably changed their shit now, but when I went, they were like categorically, categorically fucked. So I don't know if they're if they changed anything. It's been about. It'll be a year this year. It'll be a year in June. I haven't been back since I graduated in June of last year. So, yeah, I'm like, fuck you bitches. I'm saying hell away from you. It's like, I don't like you. It's like, but I really, I made some really good kick-ass friends. So, I love you guys. You guys kick ass. And some of them, since they, like, quit, because shit came up. Life happens. If 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 life was easy, if, if life was easy, it would be a slut. I have said that in a few videos before. If life was easy, it would be a slut. But it's a hardcore bitch. That's what life is. But anyways, if you're thinking about going to into like cosmetology or massage therapy, and you're like, especially. If in cosmetology and you're like an extremely creative person and you like doing it and if you were like me in high school and the like in the learning disability classes and they sit there and tell you you can't do it fuck them you can fucking do it or if you have like ADHD like my boyfriend y'all can fucking do it don't let nobody fucking hold you back fuck the haters they're nothing but fucking haters. And they're just jealous because y'all have a goal. And they don't. They're just lime green jello. That's all they are. Lime green fucking jello. It's like you'll run into idi idiots like that all through your life. It's like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. And then when you do it and you prove them wrong, yeah, then they'll look like utter jackasses. But, yeah. You can pretty much do whatever the hell you want. If you put your mind to it and work really hard and work your ass off. Like me and my boyfriend did. Even though I suck. <laughs> Sorry, my mind went dirty. My mind went to the gutter. Sorry, I had to go there. Hey, at least I'm being honest. But anyways, don't let anybody hold you back. Seriously. Don't let anybody sit there and say, oh, you can't do it. You can't do it. You're not smart enough. To hell with them. You actually are smart enough. Fuck the haters. Fuck the dumbasses who say you can't do it. Prove those fuckers wrong. I'm sorry, I know I'm cussing. Prove those dumb nuts wrong. They're a bunch of pussy willows anyway. What the hell do they know? They don't know how determined you are. 
they don't know how kick ass cool you are. As long as I, you and I know it, and your friends and your family know that you're really, really cool, and you're like really passionate and extremely determined about something. I know I sound like a dick. I sound like an idiot going like totally like whatever. I sound like one of them like retarded goof nuts that talk like that. I normally don't talk like that. It's like, like, whatever. I don't, people who talk like that, they kind of, they annoy me a little bit. It's like, why do you talk like that? I do not like you because you talk like that. That's annoying. Stop being so annoying. Motherfucker, I'm going to throw a pop cap at you. That's what I'm sitting here doing. I'm playing with a fucking pop cap from a cherry coke with the freaking paintbrush. I'm being an idiot. I'm being random right now. Sorry. I know this video really was gonna be like, like maybe like a five minute video, like like a three minute video. I'm like, oh, I hope my boyfriend passes. And then went into random. Don't let nobody put you down. Shit. And I'm serious. Don't let anybody, nobody put you down. I don't care who you are. Don't let nobody put you down for whatever you want to do or for whatever you believe in. I'll give you a prime example. If you're like purple, a transgender, and you're really passionate about going into whatever field, the fuckers who have a problem with you being a transgender are a fucking ignorant asshole. And this goes for anybody that's in that little that falls under that category. The um, le uh, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender umbrella. Fuck them. They're all idiots. And they have a problem because they're ignorant and they fear everything that they do not know. It's the fear of the unknown is what these fucking homo these homophobic jerks have is nothing but ignorance and fear. They fear what they do not understand. It's like I'm a Wiccan and I'm bisexual. What are you gonna do? Like I don't let nobody fucking shit on me for nothing. It's like fuck you bitches. I am whom I am. I am whom I am. It's like I am whom I am ma'am. I don't care. It's like I know there's like people who have gotten teased and bullied in like school for being lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender. And they've committed suicide over it. Don't do it, please. Please. I love you. We weirdos need to stick together. Embrace the weirdness. The, the weirdness rocks. Okay? I'm rocking the weirdness because I like being different. I'm a weirdo. I'm... There are days, yeah, where I'm not comfortable with being like, like me, a weirdo. Where people just stare at me for like no damn good reason because... Well, the hair, my hair is multicolored. They stare at me for the hair. Or I'm wearing something like really cute. Where's my hat? Hey, here. Um, where, where is it? Where's my wolfy hat? Where the fuck? There it is. Sorry. Right. Or they look at me for, for the mere fact that I'm wearing the super cute hat right here. I get annoyed when people stare at me. It's impolite. Personally, I think it's very impolite for somebody to stare. Like, ew, I'll come stare at you. You're weird. You're wearing a weird hat. You're wearing coat. You have colorful hair. I'm gonna stare at you. I'm gonna be impolite. I'm gonna be a jerk and stare at you. I have no manners because I'm sitting here staring at you because I have no manners. My parents didn't teach me manners. We stare at you. I know. I'm getting creepy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm being creepy. I'm being random and I'm. Starting to get into the whole 
being loud and random shit. Oh yay! Shiloh has rubbed off on me. I love her. If you don't, if y'all don't know who Shiloh is, her ch her channel, um, Jack Cool, Jack Coolo. I think that's how it is. Jack Coolo, yeah. I love her channel. She does a lot of videos. She she has done a a good chunk of videos with um Onision. Go check her out. She's really cool. She reminds me a little bit of myself. So, because I'm weird. But I'm not as loud as her. Yeah, she's starting to rub off on me a little bit because I'm starting to act like that a little bit. <laughs> Especially this one. I'm starting to be like, ah! But normally I'm not like that, as you can tell from my other videos. I'm. I don't know. I'm kind of hyper today. And she's hyper all the time. I love her. She's so cool. She's kick ass! Her and. Onizan. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it right. Her and. On Onision. There we go. Yay! You're right! Woohoo! But I love those two YouTubers. They're so cool. They're random, and I love it. So is Shane Dawson. I know I'm mentioning YouTubers again, but that's what I watch. What do you watch on YouTube? Seriously, no, seriously, what do you guys watch on YouTube? Like, what YouTuber? You watch Oga K, Dave Days, whoever, Tay, Tayzon Day, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I know it's Tay, Tayzon Day, I think. Chocolate Rain, whatever, I don't know. Sorry if I'm fucking up your name, dude. Sorry! I love you! Well, I don't even think I've even... No, wait. Am I subscribed to him? I don't remember. This is just going to be a random ass video for y'all to watch and it's going to be kind of long. It's going to be like, so stupid, it's long and I'm talking about shit. No, I'm joking. I'm advertising for these YouTubers. I'm getting, the, I'm spreading the good word. But whatever, yeah, I'm spreading the good word, you hear that? I'm trying to get these people more subscribers. I don't care, I love them. They're, they're like, so cool. I watch their videos because... I don't know. Watching their videos, it kind of inspires me. It kind of gives me my own ideas of, like, how to be goofy and shit. I don't know. But whatever. Who cares? It's like, I don't steal their ideas, but it kind of gives me an idea or ideas. It's like, excuse me. It's like, ew, I can be like, neat and just turn it and twist it and morph it into something really cool. Or not as cool. Or whatever. But anyways, who's your favorite YouTuber on YouTube? I know, like, hell, it isn't me. But that's okay. <laughs> I wish people watched more of my videos, but... I'm perfectly okay with like having only like 16 subscribers and very few views. I was like, I don't care. Like, I just make videos to make videos. I do this for myself. I do it to have fun. Whatever. I do it to be fucking crazy. So, I'm gonna wear the cute hat. I hate my hair. I'm gonna wear my cute hat. And I'm gonna be a wolf. Yeah. So, well, okay, instead of me, okay, I want to go, I want to stop this shit right here before it gets any longer. So, okay, people, the crazy wolf girl is out of here. So, I'm sorry this video is long. So, I'm going to go. I hope my boyfriend passes his skateboards. I heart you. Y'all are beautiful. And don't want no jackass bullies bully you, bully you. Or make you want to kill yourself and hate your life. Because, you know what? They're all idiots. I'll see you guys later. Bye.